Hey, it's Brennan Galley here, and this video is going to answer the question. Uh, somebody wanted to see the time correction uh, undo, so let's do some recording. Uh, we'll time correct, and I'll show you how you, you move throughout that. Um, first off, what I want to do is I want to take the time correction, and I want to turn it off. So TC, and then I'll tap off there, and I'll say do it. And now I'll bring in a drum program, just a random kit. So let's go, one, two, three, four. Right, so it's very human. So now if I want to apply my time code to it, I go TC, and I can either go for my selected or my all. Um, so right now, I'll do the hi-hat, and you can see what that looks like. My hi hat is uh, is definitely like the most swingy there. So so let's highlight that, and we're gonna, gonna go back to main TC, and I'm gonna say sixteenth note, do it, and now that hi hat is gonna be right on grid, and of course if I pressed undo, then that's gonna move it. Let's go undo again. So now it's off off grid. So I can go shift redo and that's going to pop it back on grid for me um, and then if I wanted to do more I could go to my TC um, and let's go actually let's do the kick so TC uh, and I'll say 16th selected do it I'll do my snare as well and say do it and so now I've just quantized that entire performance and of course undo will bring it back to the original state. So I hope that gives you a hand with uh, how to uh, add quantize, how to undo your quantize as well. Um, you'll notice that the secret that I did in this video is that I turned off my time correct when I recorded down my first one so it gave it a good starting position and then I quantized after. You'll often find that the timing correct is turned on uh, for your projects when you launch it. So this is something that you need to do. You need to go from your main screen TC off and then you'll be able to record down and not have quantize and then sort of work and select when you turn on the quantize. Thanks for watching this video and all the other ones. If you have comments or questions, please leave them below.